You're watching Pick of the Flicks with Tony Douglas and welcome to my Rating the Movies web series where I take a movie, be it new release, retro favourite, cult flick or classic and give it a star rating out of five. On with the show. Mysterious, irresistible, deadly. This is Killer Mermaid, the flip side of Splash, a dark atmospheric creature feature that will eat you alive. Hi and welcome to Rating the Movies with Tony Douglas and my review of the fantasy horror Killer Mermaid, starring Christina Klebe, Natalie Byrne and Italian screen legend Franco Nero as Nico the Fisherman. Known in some parts of the world as Nymph, Killer Mermaid is a low-budget Serbian film directed by Milan Todorovic. Dripping with sex appeal and mystery, this intriguing fright flick kicks off as a free-for-all fun-in-the-sun adventure but soon moves into horror territory. The plot takes us to scenic Montenegro where we find two American girls on vacation visiting an old friend. Their adventurous spirit takes them and their friends to an abandoned military fortress on a remote island. It seems something sinister is hiding out not just on the land but in the surrounding waters. What starts out as a carefree adventure soon becomes a deadly fight for survival. Killer Mermaid makes superb use of the visually stunning Adriatic coastline. Many of the film's early scenes resemble a glossy MTV-style music video with bikini babes, exotic locations and thumping dance music. Killer Mermaid contains a good-looking cast of relative unknowns and at times reminds you of the teen slasher flick I Know What You Did Last Summer. The scares are there and the young cast are enthusiastic in their performances, but it's the screen presence of cinema's original Django, Franco Nero, that lifts the film and gives it a suspenseful edge. All in all, for a film titled Killer Mermaid, maybe all it needed was a little more mermaid. The appearances of Zorana Kostik Obradovic as the Killer Mermaid may be minimal, but when she slivers onto the screen as the mythical sea creature, her presence is effective and at times quite intoxicating. Killer Mermaid is not the ultimate monster movie, but it does create an air of hypnotic tension that keeps you interested for the entire running time. So if you're looking for a creature feature with a difference, then Killer Mermaid does the job despite its low budget and B-movie status. My rating for Killer Mermaid is two and a half stars. So what do you think about the movie? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Better still, why not give us your star rating out of five? Well, until next time, this is Tony Douglas signing off for Rating the Movies. But before you go, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.